So I think it's time for the next episode of... Let's Talk Paranormal. Well, hello there, para peeps, and welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. Let's Talk Paranormal Live. I am your host, Sean Donnelly. And I'm your co-host, Marianne Donnelly. We are getting things fired up here. My hair is starting to stand up on the... On my arms and all the things that we're powering up here to put this show on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't blown a breaker yet. <laughs> Let's see what we could do next. <laughs> nice. So while we're getting things fired up, everybody who's here in chat, what do we ask you to do? We ask you to check in and say hi and check where you're in, from. Check in say where you're from. Some of you, we know where you're from. We're watching you. <laughs> But others we might not know, so let us know where you're from. All right, tonight's show is brought to you by... Our nice show supporters, Crash Palace, Suzanne Least, and PSPR Erie PA. Who's actually going to be a ghost, or not a ghost, a guest. I hope he's not going to be a ghost. Oh I hope he's going to be a guest on the show later. Oh, my gosh. So, oh, and, man. That's horrible. And we also have <laughs> our uh, Patreon supporter, who is BU Be Unique. All right. Wow. That is a slip of the tongue there. <laughs> All right, folks. We are live. So, as normal, I give my disclaimer that I'll probably say something stupid just like that. You already had your problem for today. Is you that one? Yep. You are get... you keeping track? Yep. One? Yep. See how many times I screw up during the live stream? Okay. So, that's one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So, if you have not hit that like button, go ahead and do that right now. Help us out. Try to get... Did you hit the like button? I did hit the you like did. button this Normally time. Normally you forget. I know. <laughs> it's one of my bad habits. I'm, okay. I'm trying to correct it. That's all right. What else you got there, dear? I don't know. Let me look at the screen. All right. Live, subscribe, smash a <laughs> like. Uh... All right. So Boris wanted to help us out with this part, too. So we got something, you know... Boris wanted to help? Yeah, we gotta we gotta let Boris help us out. Oh, all right. All right. So you here go we ahead. go. So Boris wanted to pitch in there. <laughs> Boris has too much time on his hands. You think? I think so. I think Boris has too much time on his hands. Too much late night? Either that or too many spirits. Are you going to tell him who we are? <laughs> no. <sighs> so this is a chance for me to make yet another mistake. It is. Here we go. Like we mentioned before, Sean and Mary Ann Donnelly... Owners of PanicD.com, DarkShadowGhostTours.com. PanicD.com is a database of over 800 locations across the United States that have paranormal claims. The series, Our Haunted Travels, which we started in November of 2017, features the over 200 locations that we have visited. Each week on our channel, we feature a new location where we cover the history, the paranormal claims and stories, our personal experiences, and why we believe the locations are haunted. So if that's something that you're interested in, now's the time. Hit that subscribe button and find out the next time we put out a video from Panic D Videos. I didn't get to put up a two. I've I've rehearsed that a couple times. (laughs) All right, you did a lovely job there, dear. All right, so let's find out who is here. Now it's your job. Now it's my turn? Your turn. All right, let's find out who came to visit us. If you haven't said hi, please do so, as I'm going to start checking the participant list. Roll call. All right, so we have Happy Trails Hiking. We have the second half of Happy Trails Hiking Matt at Healthy Trails 199s. I thought there was an extra number on there, but it doesn't seem to be in the list. Uh, Inspired John, Joy Stewart, Annette Reagan, 
Polly vlogs, PSPR Paranormal Pursuit. He's not a ghost. No, he's he's quite he's a guest. Yeah, he's a guest. We have Pusha Studios. We have Teresa Gregory, uh, Joy Stored. I don't know if I mentioned we had Joy as well. All righty, I guess I. And well, Desmond's Donders has just joined the house. I could have checked. We we have a strong signal, so folks welcome paranormal tech also welcome everybody to tonight's show we are going to be wrapping up our discussion on the blackwell ghost documentary um we're gonna in a little bit uh share with you our analysis of it and then we're gonna bring on a panel we have some awesome guests we do it's coming on the show here second half of the show and get their opinions and have mm -hmm. a little discussion about the documentary there you go. uh before we get into that uh, just going to let you guys know, we're starting to get that snowstorm. It's starting like now, of course, as soon as we go live. So hopefully the internet holds out. <laughs> oh, hopefully. it's going to be fine. It's yeah, just it's spitting snow. It's not so. going gonna, gonna to gonna cause a problem. Yeah, not a problem. No, not at all. Not a problem. Not at we've, all. We've been in worse weather conditions. Yes. Life on the Trail is here. It says good afternoon. And I had I was talking to um, Teresa Gregory, Gregory last week. If you remember, she it was like it was her against the kids. It was like who was going to win the mm -hmm. battle. <laughs> she says she's winning today. She's winning today. Yeah, she's. I asked her if she was winning today, where the kids were, and she said she is winning today. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, hey, are you ready for your section? Yeah, we're to that point oh, already. Already? Wow, oh, yeah. you're getting fast at this game. That's all right. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. It's time for Marianne's eBay update, although this is not from eBay. but <laughs> Still purchased online, though. Still purchased online. Yes. Uh, so I got the Lighthouse Secrets, a collection of recipes from the nation's oldest city. Kind of goes along with our uh, topic this past week, which was the St. Augustine Lighthouse. And it's uh, actually by the Junior Service League of St. Augustine. So um, inside it has some information about locations in between each section. And then it also has wonderful treasured recipes from the area. Maybe yeah. one of these will end up on the show one day. That's so right. That's what we I were going to do a recipe this week. That's why you actually picked that that's up. That's why I purchased it. And we kind of ran out of time. Actually, you said we ran out of days because yeah, we you did filled run out up of the days. days. We're going to do something which we don't have to talk about on the show today, but uh, we're going to do something where we break up the locations and have a week of like just miscellaneous catch up stuff. And maybe that's when you could do a lighthouse. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, I do want to want to say something i want to thank everybody who's in the room today every one of our subscribers our para peeps everybody today probably about eight o'clock this morning okay we broke sixty thousand views on the channel oh, very nice thank you everyone and i tell you what that this kind of like blows me away that sixty thousand times one of our videos was played <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We broke 60,000 views today, which is, that's pretty cool. So thank you, everybody. I mean, that's you guys. You're watching our stuff out there. So really do appreciate that very, very much. Very good. All right. Okay. Yes. All right. So. So Crip6 has joined us. Hello. And Tiny Lives. And I'm curious if that is that's, Tiny, I think it's TW7. TW7. I'm pretty sure it is. And Atlantis Paranormal has joined as well. Alrighty. There we well, go. So we have a video that we're going to play for you that is our analysis. If you guys missed our show last week, we kind of did a overview of the documentary, The Blackwell Ghost. Mm-hmm. No, Am I saying I'm, something wrong? No. I didn't say the no, fingers. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't okay. bring up the two. I, I'm listening. Um, so for you, those of you who have no idea what we're talking about on the show, I'm sorry. <laughs> but basically, it's a documentary that's out there on um, Amazon that talks about uh, potential ghostly activity at a house in Pennsylvania. All right. So what today's show is going to be we're going to play our analysis here in a second in a little bit we're still going to be in chat while the video is going on 
That's right. Okay, so if you guys have questions for us or whatever while the video is going on, that's that's okay. Then after the video is over, we're bringing a panel up. We have, for your enjoyment today, joining us after this video, we have Polyvlogger, PSPR Paranormal, Happy Trails Hiking, both Matt and Kay. That's right. And Pusha Studios. That's right. We're going to come on, and each one of them have watched a documentary, and we're going to get their opinion on the panel. So that's what the plans are for today, providing everything goes well. So far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. All right. So timey, timey says that uh, we made her watch it, and it was scary. <laughs> She called us meanies. <laughs> well, watch this next video I'm going to play for you and then see if your opinion changes. Maybe you'll even want to watch it again with a different perspective, mm -hmm. Timey. <laughs> All right. So, guys, don't go away. If you get bored, please don't go away. And if you have questions or anything about the video, we Just are in post chat. post them in chat. Yep. And I'll be following along. Marianne is watching chat. I have it on over here. And <laughs> let's go ahead and get rolling. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're, we're doing good. Really good. We're good. It's 5 11. You're right. getting so good at this whole like intro stuff. Yeah. Time <laughs> to change it up again. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So watch this, and we'll be back afterwards with our panel, hopefully. All righty, para peeps. This video here is our analysis of the Black Will Ghost documentary <laughs> as she her teeth documentary all right so before we tear into this i do have to say a couple things first of all as far as a work of art for entertainment done very well done very well okay yes um as far as videography, storytelling, all that stuff, very good job. Um, as far as being evidence and being truthful, that's where I have a problem. Yes, it's more like a mockumentary that's than right. a documentary. Ooh, I like that word, a mockumentary. Yes. Or a pseudomentary. Yeah. So. We're going to go through a few things about the, uh, we'll call it a film, okay? Yes. It's not a documentary. No. First of all, as far as a documentary goes, the definition of documentary reads as? Uh, pertaining to, consisting of, or derived from documents based on or recreating an actual event, era, life story, etc. that purports to be factually accurate and contains no fictional elements. In movies and television, a documentary film, radio, or television program. Okay. So, throughout this video, we're going to prove to you that there are fictitious elements within yes. the film. Okay? Yes. Now, here's where I have a problem with this. This is listed on Amazon. Let me bring our screen over. It's listed on Amazon as being a documentary. It is in the genre of documentary. Yeah. Can you circle that with your little pointer? Where is it at? Right here. Yeah, you don't see it on their screen. Oh, maybe you see a highlight, though. Okay. It's listed as documentary. It's not. Definitely not. It's not. Um, so that's basically where I have a problem, and I think Marianne would agree with me. Oh, absolutely. I have no problem with somebody making fun of the paranormal oh, with yeah. making a movie that is about documenting or trying to document paranormal and making fun of it and oh, having a good time with it. Absolutely. I have no problem with that. It should just be listed as a film or whatever. But the way this is listed on IMDb is it's a horror. Yes, it's, it's listed, a horror movie. It's listed as horror. Okay. Now, here's where we have a problem. That's That's problem number one. Actually, let's put up the ghost. Okay, so that's problem number one, is because it says it's a documentary, and it's not. Now, when we go to review stuff, we take a scientific approach to it. When your data, there's some sort of 
inaccuracy somewhere, you got to throw it out and start over again, or just throw it out and you can't use it as data. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So there's there's number one. Yes. <laughs> it's a it's an alarm that goes up. Yeah. Probably saying, ah, eh, not a big deal, right? Well, let's continue on. <laughs> Let's continue on. Okay. All right. So in the beginning of the film, they, they talk about the uh, the video that is on YouTube. Yes. Yes. It's got a, over 11 million views. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'll bring that up. I won't play it, but I'll bring it up. Okay. What? Well, I was going to say, before he even brings that up in the movie, he mentions... What made me the first time I watched it go, oh yeah, he's like, he's going to tell the truth. He's going to be able to make anything up, which was? That he's a filmmaker. He makes zombie movies. That's what his yes. profession is. So he has the knowledge. He definitely knows how. Yeah. Okay, so this is the video. I can't play the video because of copyright. Mm-hmm. Okay. But this is the video that we mentioned and is mentioned in the film okay it's called ghost screaming in the hotel full length all right and during our live stream marianne dropped a link to this i did so hopefully you went and 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 watched it if not uh we could drop the link again or we'll post the link uh, on our patreon page to this as you can see it has over 11 million views now in the film um turner clay mentioned that he was contacted by the man who is in the film Named John. Named John, mm-hmm. okay. Um, that he posted, um, he was contacted through a forum or something. Yeah, he, a forum. He he uh, had said that he posted out saying he was looking for ghost videos to do his documentary. Right. And this one is very popular. Actually, uh, Turner Clay even said that he saw it organically before somebody sent it to him. Yeah, is that a weird thing to say when you're talking to someone? Oh, I saw it organically. Basically, (laughs) it it, it came up. He found it on the internet. Right, but do you just normally talk? I remember seeing it, too. Yeah, I did, too. But do do you just normally talk to, like, people on the phone and go, oh, yeah, I saw that video organically? Well, I don't know. Some (laughs) I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You probably wouldn't. I wouldn't. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make here is uh, (laughs) this video... We found out through, and it's kind of like started us on this topic, is this video is definitely fake. Mm-hmm. 100% fake. Yeah. And even better yet, this channel is owned by Turner Clay. This is his video. He made this video. And better yet, that's him in the video. documentary Mm -mm. no so we're going to prove that to you right now first of all the channel name is jimmy nut 22 correct okay yep and okay well here's turner turner clay's imdb page right okay um you were looking at this and looking at all the different films. Like, here's the Blackwell Ghost 2 that's out now. But you said he doesn't have the Blackwell Ghost listed on here. Not as editor. If you go down to where it says um, actor, three credits, it's listed in there. Gotcha. But it's not okay. listed as editor, okay. which was interesting since that was, like, the big thing was he was the editor of that movie. Right. But as you scroll down under personal further. details right here... Look what it says. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Alternate names. Jimmy Nut 22. So it turns out that Turner Clay owns that YouTube channel. Yes. That's one little interesting little tidbit. Mm-hmm. Not to mention that the video camera itself, the footage from the the hotel thing, mm-hmm. we we have found someone who actually has 
photographs. Yes. So actually, this is actually quite simple. Even we saw that in an article. Well, you go to Google and you Google Blackwell Ghost. The picture that we're talking about is like right here. Okay. In the beginning of that, um, the online video, which is what we're talking about, it shows Johnny, John, yeah, John, whatever, walking off of an elevator. That picture on the right is Turner Clay. Okay, the picture on the left is supposedly Johnny. Now, in the article, it reads that they believe that he filmed this when he was. He was at the. Uh... He was working on something with Toby Ke Toby Keith, basically. Yeah. And this was a hotel that they stayed at. Okay. So he basically staged this and recorded it. You could see he's wearing the same hat, wearing the same lantern. If it's, it's not him, Marianne thinks that it could be his brother. That yeah. they kind of live, look the same. Live in Overdrive Tour 2012, actually. It was Toby Keith's Live in Overdrive Tour 2012. Um, and there's a pi that picture there of him on the right um, is cropped, is cropped the of the whole picture, which Toby Keith is actually in, as well as um, John Will Clay, who um, just happens to live in the same area and grew up in the same area that, you know, there Turner is. Clay. This is the picture she's talking about right here. Happened to grow up in. That picture right And there. they do look kind of similar, you know. And in that particular picture, John Clay, uh, on the left in the red shirt, he uh, has a little bit of a, a, a beard grown there, whereas, um, what's his name, does not, Turner, Turner. does not. Mm -hmm. um, and in the film, which is this picture right here, you can see this the lanyard and the hat appear to be the same and we're not really you can't tell really well because of the angle if that's a beard or a shadow um and even still that he could have been nicely shaven for that picture right but then you know a couple days little yeah, scruffiness five o'clock little scruffiness would start to happen so that would be number three number four is the position of the camera in the video that's pointing at the door Okay, so the one thing that caught my attention when I originally saw this, where I thought, this is kind of interesting. Um, the position of this camera, it just, I find it kind of convenient that it's pointing right at that door. Okay? I handle the security cameras at the, at the school where we work, and I know that positions on a DVR is prime real estate, wherever you place those cameras. If that was me... I would not place that camera pointing at just a single door. It's only picking up two doors, basically. That would be moved over and shooting down the hallway to pick up the whole hallway, multiple doors. But that camera's pointing, it just so happens, right at the door that has the ghostly activity that takes place. Unless there had been a lot of ghostly activity reported for that room, in which case they may have wanted to put it directly at that particular door. No. I believe that that's a camera that he placed there across from his own room to film yeah. this. Yeah, and if you that's my and opinion. if you look at the the uh, footage or the camera, the picture of him that's not cropped, you see that he's actually holding the big film cameras and things like that. So he brought all his equipment with him. So item number five that we want to point out is a major thing about this film that basically says there's no way it's a documentary and that's the house itself okay in the film he stated that he had to get in his plane fly three hours to pennsylvania to where the blackwell house is and all that stuff like that well marianne in her digging and research i don't want to use the word documentary because it's not a documentary okay but basically it's listed as a horror film in IMDb, not a documentary, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and it's not easy to get to. 
if you Google this, it, co it goes to... It likes to go to uh, part two. Part two, yes. not, the, not the new one, or yeah. the, the previous one. But as you scroll down on it, and this is one thing that's kind of cool about IMDb, is in most cases, you could find out different things about the film. And one of the things that's on here is the um, filming locations. Well, when you click on See More, it lists two different locations. Lexington, Kentucky, exterior shots. Which makes sense. He lives there. He was supposedly sitting around in his car and his house. Yeah. But it also lists an address, 318 Henry Clay Boulevard, Lexington. And it says Blackwell House. It says that it's in Lexington, Kentucky. So where is he flying to? So this takes almost the whole film and throws it out of, out of the thing. It's not in Pennsylvania. It's not... You know, uh, Ruth Blackwell, you looked up Ruth Blackwell in Pennsylvania. And what did you find? She was a, a, a black woman. And clearly in the movie, she is showing as a white woman. Yeah. And the the uh, black woman that you found was not married to a James Blackwell, right? Or was? Was. 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 All right. So they got the, the names right. Yeah. But not the... Right. According to the 1940 <laughs> census, they... James and Ruth were Okay, married. so that part of it is correct. But yeah. Okay. So at least he picked some names of people who were actually married in the state he said that they were going to be in. All right. So you're probably saying, okay, well, maybe it's just a typo. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's a typo on IMDb. That happens, right? Sure. So what did you do? I looked up 318 Henry Clay Boulevard in Lexington, Kentucky. On what? Uh, of course, I looked that up on the uh, real estate registry. Yeah, but... I looked it up on Google Maps. Oh, yeah. I did that, too. On I Google did that, Maps. too. All right. So if you remember the, what the house looked like, okay, that's a picture of it. It says it's in Fayette County, Kentucky, right there. Mm -hmm. Here it is on Google Maps where you looked up the address. Mm -hmm. And it says this was taken 2015. Yes, September, September 2015. See right there? That's the house. Mm -hmm. Not in Pennsylvania. But in Lexington, Kentucky. Right. Where he lives. Mm -hmm. Okay. So while we're on the house subject, let's talk about number six. <laughs> let's talk about number six, shall we? Is number six Greg? Number six is Greg and the actual owner of the house. Hmm. 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 Let's do that. Let's, shall we? So you did uh, look up records. Yeah, and you could see this it. is, it's on that page right there too. Yeah, this is this is public records. Okay, so this is that uh, property search again, mm -hmm. and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in on it. See the owner. Turner Clay owns the house. Okay? Not Greg. Not Greg. Now you're saying, well, maybe he bought the house afterwards. Right. Right? Yeah. No. No. Let's keep going. <laughs> Let's keep digging. <laughs> now, in the film, it said that, well, Greg stated that he'd lived there, he lived for, there for over 50, 50 years. years. That's right. His dad had it before him. Okay, so let's call it, it said 2015. That's what you're saying? 2015 is when it took place? I when he interviewed I think it was Greg. 16, but that's 2016. okay. 15, okay. 16, somewhere what? around there. All right, so Greg mentioned in the film that he lived there for 50-some years. Right. Right, which that puts his family owning the property at in 1965. Yeah, in the 1960s. Yep. Okay. So when you look at these records here, it goes back to 1978. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. 1978, the property, the previous owner was Maxwell Street Presbyterian Church. Or St. Presbyterian Church. Oh, yeah, strength, yeah, Maxwell St. Presbyterian Church. They sold it to David Rickenbacker mm -hmm. in 1978. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. 
Rickenbacker. Yeah, he sold it to Timothy Burnell. And, yeah, Shelley Burnell in 2014. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Clay Turner bought the property in 2015. Right. And you're and saying the, this was filmed in 2016. Yeah. And we also know that the previous owner was not anyone named Greg. There's no Greg in there. Well, it could have changed his name, though. It could have changed his name in the film. But the ha but it's he changed have hands it. so many times, so that whole thing about being there for 50 years. Well, yeah. No. Right. But also, he, if, it, if it was truly a documentary, they would have said names have been changed for... Right. You know, and right. they did not. They just said Greg. So basically, the house is owned by... Clay. Clay. Right. During the filming... So like we mentioned earlier, normally if we come across like one little discretion, we just yeah. throw it out and right. say it's entertainment. It's not actual evidence. It's not something that you can take as solid scientifically proven evidence. Right. I definitely wouldn't be using any of this no. as saying, oh, here's evidence for this. No, no. Does the Blackwell ghost even exist? Who knows? I bet you it's Doubtful. all fabricated and made up yeah. and all that. I think, truthfully, here's what I think happened. And I do give Turner Clay credit for this. I think he made that video, the one that's on YouTube, and he put it out there and it just blew up and it got popular. And he thought, hmm, I'm going to take this a step further and try to make some money on this. And he made the mockumentary <laughs> and sold it on Amazon. And people bought it. We bought it. I'm like, this is this is interesting stuff you know until I found that article the article I'm talking about came out in March where this gentleman just tore this film apart and did basically what we just did and started digging into it and looking at things in fact to be honest after all the different investigations we've been on and places we've been to I, I, I think it's extremely rare to be able to capture an apparition like that on <laughs> camera. Yeah. We haven't done it. We have We've gigabytes of tried footage so many and times. photos. And, you know, it's just, and he did it several times. Yeah. You know, so it, it has to be fake. Yeah. Or he's really, really lucky. I think it's fake. I think it's fake, too. I mean, all the ones that he catches, too, they're all the same shape and color. And yeah, <laughs> move in the same direction and, and stuff like that. It would be extremely rare, very rare, to capture an apparition on the camera because in most cases for a spirit to get that much energy to manifest, it's going to drain all the energy sources within its area to get that energy. Just my opinion. So if you see something like that out there, on Google or YouTube or anything like that, just be question. wary. Yeah, just question it. So we could probably keep going and going and going and going with this analysis, but I think that's enough. We're gonna leave it there. I mean, what? You you don't want to talk about how they how they, you know, turn on water when you're not in the room and no. leave it on and and open up the covers and come back well, in the room. That's that's enough said. You know, <laughs> you, you move chairs and stuff with, yeah, fishing line. Yeah. I'm sure. No. I think one or two things would just throw it out. And would be enough. Call it entertainment. But yeah. Right. What was nice is that IMDb is calling it horror. Right. However, he's, he's selling, selling it on it Amazon it as a document. As a document. That bothers me. Yeah. That bothers me. It's not being uh, ethical. Definitely not truthful. Yeah. All right. Hey, we're going to wrap this up. And we're going to return you back to your regularly scheduled program. It's time. All righty. There you go, folks. <laughs> there you go. Our analysis of the Blackwell ghost. Yes. So I'm kind of curious, those of you in chat, before we bring on our panel here, if that's changed your opinion, seeing that after watching the documentary. What about, what about you, TWG7? See, you were going <laughs> off in the, in the chat the whole time. Yeah. What do you think? She was she was talking about how, you know, it would, was to protect those liars and everything like that. It was awesome. She was asking questions along the way. It was just like a premiere. <laughs> 
All right, so at this time, we are bringing on some very distinguished guests onto the show. I'm excited. You excited? I am very excited. Yeah, I can tell. You're looking at the screen. You're I'm paying watching attention. chat. The guests are up there. Hi, guests. Actually, I thought <laughs> the guests were down there. <laughs> All right, so let's make sure I turn on the audio. There we go. All right, please welcome to the show we have with us. You're seeing right now that's that's uh Polly Vlogger. We have Matt and Kay from Happy Terrell's Hiking. We have Bill Cook from PSPR Paranormal and we have Cassandra from where are you from? What channel? What channel? <laughs> Pusha Studios. That's that's right. That's right. All righty. So if you guys would take a moment and we'll call on you so that uh, we don't like everybody step on each other, just take a minute and, you know, in case there's somebody in here who's never heard of your channels before, why don't we start off with Happy Trails Hiking? Why don't you go ahead and tell the people in chat about your channel a little bit? All right, so All they're right. saying they're not hearing you guys, so okay. hold up are for you guys, just one second. Are you guys hearing our guests? Please let us know if you're I hearing had our guests. Two people say they did not hear the guests. We can't hear them. See, we just wanted to, you know, make you guys be mimes, All and right. we'll tell them what you said. <laughs> we'll do lip. We wanted to practice lip reading tonight. Okay, that's probably. Wait a minute, let me try something here. <laughs> I said that there's going to be a lip reading test tonight, and Timey said no. <laughs> oh, oh, there's Polly's going to dance for us. That's good. <laughs> They're not hearing the desktop. They're not coming through on desktop. Why? 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 I don't know. It worked when you practiced with me in the other room. Sean's Sean's going to work on that. <laughs> in the meantime, in the meantime, you guys in the uh, chat room, why don't you guys tell us some more of your thoughts about, <laughs> about the well, uh, Blackwell ghost? They can't hear them. I didn't say oh, they the did. Chat. I told the okay. chat to. You're, you fix that. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! <laughs> All right. So there was something I almost missed. I missed it when it was there. Uh, oh yes. So Desmond's daughter says that Pusha Studios is a quiet channel. <laughs> Oh dear. And Atlantis Paranormal says stereo mix. Uh, what else we got oh, going wait, on? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I found it. I think I he, found it. There we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. All he right. thinks he's got it. He thinks he's got it. So, how about you guys tell us if you <laughs> took right. your race? Let's, let's start out with uh, Happy Trails something. Hiking again. Let's try that again. Can you hear us now? Can you guys hear them now? <laughs> Can you hear them now? What am I? What am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. The things that come from Hawaii. That's what it is. Oh, you hear that Polly's got, right. the bl uh, got the moves. Yes, I got two yeses. So yes. Yes. All right. All right. Let's try that again. We're gonna stop the. the we're gonna stop and just rewind. Start over again. All right. Well. Happy Trails Hiking. Please tell us about your channel a little bit. All right. So, um, Happy Trails Hiking. So what we do is uh, we hike. We visit national parks, state parks, uh, local city parks, whatever. Uh, conservation areas, etc. We want to get outside, relax, have a good time, hence the happiness. 
Um, and we also have a health aspect to our channel um, in which we, you know, discuss diet and exercise, et cetera. So we that's do, that's a 30 second. We overview. do have two challenges going on. One's the hike 365 challenge where we are challenging you to hike 365 miles this year. And the, um, well, January health challenge. And we're about halfway through with that. One. So check that out to um, Monday on at 10 a.m. Central. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's move on to the monkey man from Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Holy vlogger, why don't you tell us a little bit about your channel? Uh, hey, can, can you guys hear me out there? I don't know if they can hear me, but um, yeah, my channel is uh, basically vlogs. There you go, done. Just basically Whoa. vlogs, vlogs, dancing, and fun. <laughs> All right, let's move on to... <laughs> That's uh, basically it. Who we want to do let's see. Let's do PSPR Paranormal. Bill Cook from PSPR. Tell us a little bit about your channel, if you will. Hey, guys. Yeah, <laughs> our, our channel's a paranormal channel. We uh, investigate paranormal claims. Um, and on the fun side, we like to go to, like, abandoned and scary places and just walk around and check them out and document them. Awesome, awesome. All right, and we also have Cassandra from that one. I keep, they keep popping up in our like thing. It's Pusha Studios. I, I don't. Can you tell us a little <laughs> bit about your channel, please? <laughs> uh, well, for those who don't know, uh, we are a couple, a husband and wife, uh, and uh, we do live stream live live talk shows six times a week. Shout outs for the channels, education for your YouTube channel, and live talk show with celebrities and creators all over the world. All right, so thank you very much to our panel for joining us. The reason why I've asked these fine creators and folks and everybody to join us, as you can see, we have a wide range of beliefs in the paranormal, okay? Mm -hmm. We have happy trails hiking. I'm assuming you guys are kind of like, eh, okay, ghost. I'm assuming that's, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever, yeah. okay? All the way to Bill, PSPR, who's actually a paranormal investigator. And then we got Cassandra and Polly that have been on our show in the past telling their paranormal stories. That's right. So, are you going to help out with this or are you playing in chat? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why don't you start Cassandra, asking some questions? Tell him, you have to do both. <laughs> yes. She multitasks, women multitasks. I never so, get to do I'm both on my own. I'm over here because I couldn't get the audio to work. Okay, it's all so, good. I was working on that. I was telling stories. We were talking. All right. Let's ask it's the first good. question. I have the chat. All night. I have the chat. Don't worry. All right. The has <laughs> okay. got the chat. I just thought of something. I think pretty much all of our moderators are on the panel right here. I think so, too. Yeah. I think so, too. Uh, I, 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 we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. I got the chat, too. All right. Okay. Um, okay. So we started off with... Uh, happy trails hiking so let's ask bill the first question no so what we're going to do guys is we're going to go to each one of you and guys ask you uh, a question about the uh, documentary to kind of get your opinion and um we'll go from there all right so am i reading the question yeah start out with this question we're gonna uh, ask you first uh bill from all right PSPR. bill what was your first opinion of the documentary when you first started watching it did you think it could be real um the documentary no i mean it it it, it was fishy kind of in the beginning but uh sean and i were talking about that the original video in the hotel when i first saw that i thought that was real <laughs> but uh i did too to i be think honest with you. Mm -hmm. yeah but if you, if you look back at that video and, and really think about it the camera angles in the hotel were just strange that camera was pointing right at someone's room it would have been covering an elevator or shooting all the way down the hallway and not covering one door you know, so then, so that kind of makes it a little, little strange that, that that one camera was right on someone's door. That would kind of be privacy, you know, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean the documentary, I thought it was, I thought it was a decent movie, you know, but, uh, yeah, you could tell at different points. I got hints from his wife and him that they were kind of acting a little bit, you know, it was interesting. I, I enjoyed it as a movie because I like movies like that, Yeah. but, uh, yeah. I hope people aren't believing it's a real documentary. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's move on to uh, Cassandra. What did you think when you first saw it? 
Well, in the very beginning of the movie, I thought when he was slowing down to show that ghost crossing the room, the room that that was basically somebody opening the the mirror door somewhere inside the room that we didn't see. It was a reflection. That kind of wasn't scary at all. Uh, but as the movie progressed and at the very end it got really scary, I started to question. Not every some of the things were a little bit over exaggerated. Uh, but I think. Uh, that maybe it's true as a fact it could be, but the way he portrayed made it look more artificial. So I still had questions in my mind. Okay. All right, Polly Vlogs, what do you think? What did you think about when you first saw it? Uh, I, I'm a simpleton. I, I thought it was real. <laughs> That's I thought it was real. I thought everything do. about it was real. So I, I, I'm not a paranormal investigator so i wouldn't know yeah. what was real what was fake okay no that's perfect but i thought it was real though okay <laughs> happy trails hiking it's all right if i call you happy trails hiking or do you want me to go matt and Kay? that's Doesn't... great uh, all right happy either trails way it's hiking. fine all right fine. What, did, what did you guys think when you first saw it being a theater minor major in from when i was in college i thought man this is really good acting um and i was i was really impressed with the filmmaking and he said that he was a, a zombie filmmaker and this that and the other so i was really impressed with the filmmaking i was really pissed off at his wife that she would let him go down and to check out the house without going with him being a wife i'm not gonna let we go together that's all there is to it i would be like no i'm gonna go too so what do you think please my husband sent me down into an actual haunted <laughs> basement by myself he's like mary go get that camera no go check it out <laughs> Anyway, what are you talking do. about? You're just so much Push you in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't the say that we haunted. that I wouldn't push him in front of me, but I I'd go too. <laughs> All right, Matt. <laughs> well, um, you know, I I'm a software engineer. I I thought it was kind of entertainment, but there was nothing in there that struck made me a nothing in there to make me a believer. I there was nothing scientific in my mind. I was just like, eh. It's like some guy trying to, he thinks he can make woman in black or something. I don't know, he, whatever. He questions <laughs> everything, like, and that's why I love him so much. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. What about our next I question? think that Timmy's calling you a bad boy because, you know, that's what she's saying in here. And I think, <laughs> I think it's because you, you told me to go down the haunted basement. It's but... weird, John. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number two. And this is going to be for who this time? Who first. went first? Bill went first, right? Bill went first. All right, so let's keep it. Let's go to Happy Okay, Trails. so we're going to keep it in order yeah, there so yeah. you don't get confused. Yes. All right, so this is going to be for me to get confused. Happy Trails. You get this question first. All right. After more research on your own or our analysis, did your opinion change at all? Well, I didn't do any research. Um, I thought your analysis poked a few good holes in it, so... Nope, didn't change my opinion. You you backed it up. You backed up our opinion, <laughs> basically saying, no, you know what? It was a good film. I mean, gosh, it was. It was great directing and good acting and just, yeah, but no, uh, we didn't really, we wanted it to, you know, we wanted the actors to be, we, it's a good story, but no, it's a, still a story. <laughs> okay, Polly. So I'm the only one that thought it was real. <laughs> Oh my God! So That's bad. Well, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Oh my God! I I think I'm the only one out there that thought it was real. But um, no, you guys' opinion did kind of change my uh, view on it, and other people that I wrote to about it because I seen it a few years ago as well, and they said, "Dude, it's fake." I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm simple. <laughs> All right, Cassandra. <laughs> I wanted it to be true. I did too, <laughs> but <laughs> well, like I said, I I I still kind of questioned it because it kind of felt like it could be. I just saw that he exaggerated um, some things, and that made it look more fake, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but then after uh, being quite shocked, I must say, <laughs> for some of them. I uh yeah I I felt gypped in a way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bill, how about you? Did your opinion change? No, not really. You just uh you made it 
made her point even stronger, I think. I'm with Consigne. I think I thought that he exaggerated a lot and some, you know, so did his wife on different points that just didn't didn't seem like it was real. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, next question. As far as are we going we didn't really tell ours. Or did we do it in the Well, video? we played the video. Okay. All right. <laughs> But I, don't remember, saw enough. but I don't remember if in the video I I said what I I think I said that I really uh, well, I, looked at it he said he was a filmmaker and immediately that for me it triggered well, it I'm like you, oh that was in the beginning you kind of that was in the beginning off. yeah I kind of got turned off I, I'm like with Bill towards the end when the chair started falling over and that you know other stuff started happening he was only there for a weekend we've been out Bill's been out you know you don't get that kind of activity Mm-hmm. You know, that kind of stuff doesn't happen like that. And that was just a little too much. And that's like, okay, yeah, the basement door kept on. opening. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, you're lucky yeah. if you catch that in a month of a camera being on. There, right. You know, but that many times over and over. Yeah. Okay. I am so lost. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Polly. <laughs> Watch the movie again and see if you think it's real or not, Polly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Paul, you actually get this question first for the third question. Do you think that the listing of this movie on Amazon for being listed as a documentary is deceitful? Uh, Being that my opinions have changed, yes, I do. (laughs) I do believe it's it's deceitful and well, just straight out dishonest, I think, in my opinion. Right, that moves over to Ksenia. Uh Yeah, I, I think it is. I mean, <laughs> like I said, I mean, uh, it is documentary of him being in a house. But as far as the the ghost sightings go, uh, I don't think it is. It's more of a storytelling. Okay, and PSPR, Bill. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's very misleading. Uh, Amazon should change that. Uh, <laughs> Because there's there's people out there that actually look at, you know, I look on Amazon for ghost hunting shows and different things like that. So people are going to take that as fact. And uh, when it's really fiction. So. Yeah. Uh, especially kids. Yeah. Because kids will believe anything, first off. And then what they find out the first time, they just automatically say, oh, well, that's just the way it is. That's real. Mm-hmm. Without any additional was that research. was that directed at me? I'm still a kid. She thinks of you as a it, youngster, a yeah. young soul. <laughs> I, I just look at it. It's as, okay if it was. <laughs> no, I just like a lot of our kids at school. They they will take anything that anybody says and they're like, oh, well, I heard so and so said this. So that's the way it is. So this is listed as a documentary. If they learn that that's what documentary is, it's supposed to be truthful. Well, then see, that's like, oh. the key, though. They need to know the definition of a yeah. documentary. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully <laughs> we're talking about. I admit. Kids. I admit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And happy trails. Do yes, you it think? was deceitful. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, it was deceitful. Uh, the, I liked your mockumentary or pseudo-mentary much <laughs> yeah. better. I thought that was pseudo-mentary. I mean, it's a story. <laughs> they right. they intended it to be for entertainment. entertainment. Yeah, and so they should have listed it as such. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. very well put together. You know, I think we keep saying that over and over, but yeah, TWG seven agrees that uh, it it shouldn't be done that way. That's just wrong. All right, next question. After this movie, this situation, do you think that this uh, affects the reliability of others who put out paranormal videos? Do you think that this will affect how you believe they're they're shown uh, or to be real? And do you think that you'll just automatically look at everything and say, oh, it, there's gotta be some fake stuff here? Who's that go to? Uh, this goes to Cassandra gets this first. Yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, you know, it's, it's hard to rely 
I think the more and more of these things come out on YouTube, uh, especially because there's more and more of them, uh, you know, you, you kind of question it every time because there have been so many fake things and people have more access to uh, different special effects that they can use, for example. Uh, so you obviously question it more every, at least I do, every time you watch something. Uh, so there has to be drawn some kind of line uh, of what is a documentary, like how should a documentary look and, and what it is and what it's not, um, because it definitely, you know, we want to believe in things and yeah, um, I, I just think it should be more clear because it definitely uh, makes us question maybe some real things that are there that we shouldn't be questioning. That's kind of given given the people who do real things a, a bad name a bad rap yes yes exactly. exactly all right up next will be bill your answer for that be especially now you're being a paranormal investigator <laughs> right but well, i i think it it lumps it in there with um like the blair witch project and uh the paranormal activity uh movies you know which if you know that it's fake um you're not looking at it as a documentary, you know, so it's just a, they, Amazon should figure out a way to categorize, make sure that a movie is defined as what it is supposed to be. So it's not misleading. So I think it would, if somebody gets a hold of this movie and watches it and takes it for fact, it does hurt what paranormal investigators do on a whole, because, you know, when they find out that it's fake, they're going to say, oh, well, so's that or this or whatever they see. You know, from that might be a, a real actual uh, capture of evidence, you know. All right, and happy trails. Does it affect the reliability of others? <laughs> you know, unfortunately, I'm afraid it may. Uh, I'm I'm not well versed in the paranormal, but I, I think about, um, and let's make an analogy. So if you have one fraternity on one college campus and something bad happens, all of a sudden, all fraternities across the country look bad. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's kind of analogous to what's going on here. I think a lot of folks are trying to do scientific, uh, take a scientific approach to investigating paranormal events. Um, and then there are folks who are doing uh, fictional entertainment. And, and I do think it should be a little bit, the break should be cleaner. If it's intended to be fictional and an, intended to be entertainment, I think it'd be valuable if it was labeled that way. Um, now, I will say, though, that from my perspective, though, it, it doesn't change the way that I'm going to approach viewing something paranormal, which now I might pay attention a little bit more. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to look for a presentation that's based in reality and science and has a real documentary approach. Um, and anything that strikes me as something other than that, I'm just probably not going to watch because I can't handle reality TV I don't even like sitcoms. So if I if I'm watching something and I don't feel like they're being authentic and it's scientific, I'm turning it off. I only watch this one as a favor to this group, honestly. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what he said, because it's easier than expounding. But yeah, we we don't necessarily delve into the paranormal. I love your history stuff and. Um, yeah the investigation photos and things that you guys put out but i wouldn't be one to go looking for it any it just on my own so yeah i i think it would well it makes me question everything now it's like okay so yeah that face that you saw over in the corner is that really that or is it uh somebody's mirror or something you know mm -hmm. so yeah it makes your jobs harder well i don't know about harder it's just well, it does. More, I, let, maybe not harder for you, but harder to convince others that you're telling the truth. Yeah, right. you know, true. Absolutely. Which and you don't want to be called liars. So, yeah. you know. Yep. All right, Polly. Don't worry. I will still believe you guys. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's That's so why we love you, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will still believe you guys. So don't worry. Well, no, I mean, I've, I've had my own uh, past experience with the uh, paranormal as well. So it's kind of hard for me not to believe when investigators go out and show the things and put things out. So, so yeah, uh, reliability, no, it doesn't change. It's still still there. 
And so having <clears throat> your own experiences actually help you to believe others when they come Definitely. to things. Exactly. I, I think for me, if, if he would have started out going out with a group or going out with an investigation team, because he just started out cold saying, hey, I'm going to, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a documentary about ghosts. You know, what it gave a little bit, yeah. you know, go with those who have done it and know what they're looking for and how they're looking. Because they could have said, no, that, you know, like you said, Kate, no, that's a reflection. No, that's this. No, that, you know, we know what we're looking for in those, in those things. And if we can't figure out, you know, we tried this angle, we tried different shots, we've looked at this many pictures and we can't figure out what it is. Then we put it out and say, what do you think? Mm -hmm. You know, I think he just, I'm going to do this. And he really didn't. Yeah. Now, see, for me, it's it, like me saying, hey, I'm going to go fix our shower. I'm not a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make we it know worse. your pain. Flood the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. For me, I think that if people realize that it is faked and that it was listed as that and they're, they're now going looking at it going, well, then all these people are idiots and they all lie. Uh, I would, I think it w makes it much more difficult. I don't think that anyone would be trusting of anything that anybody comes up with anymore. And, and I've seen enough fake videos that I do do that. I'll look at it. And I'll be like, well, that's probably this, you know, and I'll, before I yeah. even uh, say, oh, well, it could be, but let's look at this. And, uh, I really scrutinize everything. And I did that before this. True. True. You know, uh, I remember when I was just starting paranormal investigation, one of uh, the people that I, you know, have investigated with several times and and they taught us a lot of things. They specifically said, unless someone is actually there, they will not believe any of your evidence, no matter what, yeah. because they will look at it and think that you did something or fake something or didn't didn't register that you had this device here or whatever and they won't believe it and i i agree with that and yeah, this, true. this just kind of goes to prove that that's true because look at how much you can fake yeah. so easily and make it look so real make it look authentic yeah all right we got another question or was that it well, those were the formal questions, and then we just wanted to ask you guys if you had anything else that you wanted to offer and open it up for some discussions. So, who uh, would be next is... Cassandra. Cassandra. All right. Uh, well, after all, although knowing that most, you know, it, it's kind of, it's not real, I still kind of want to believe that the story is still there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I always want to believe uh i want to see the second part i don't know even after hearing what you guys were saying about the deeper analysis of the movie um i want to see the second part okay i i did too and we and we and did we watch did. the second part <laughs> and he comes up with all new things and what bothers me about the second part is that he doesn't really focus on any of the same activity all the activity is different yeah. uh, oh the really second time around yeah. except for except for the ball yeah. That's the only thing that stays the same. Everything else, all the activity is different, which bothered me right. because theoretically, nothing it was should repeated be like a residual type haunting, types of which things. you would have a mixture of residual <laughs> and intelligent, but nothing was repeated in the second one. Yeah, yeah, it was all yeah. different new stuff. But but the question is that this the yeah like Tommy is saying those seven kids that died is that real? I found nothing to back we that up. We found nothing, and we dug and dug and dug, and you guys that watch our videos know how much we go deep in the research. We found nothing. It doesn't exist. If yeah. Panic D can't find it, it does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Though, Agreed. We did what about the, I have watched, I agree. <laughs> what about the newspaper archive that he was that he found? Has anybody Th else found those that? Those are fake. Those are fake. Right. Yeah. Okay. And the fact when he called up. When he called up that archive and he said, hey, can you send me this, this, and this? And I looked at her and I'm like, man, I wish they did that. That would be awesome. If we could just make a phone call 40, and say, hey, 4,300 pages. Yeah. Email yeah. me Yeah, 4, just download pages. that. Yeah. 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 No. It, it, and the, the actual articles themselves were faked. Yeah. So. Now, the question is, where did he get idea of it? 
He well, he writes zombie movies. So I'd say he owns the house, and whoever he was renting it to moved out, and he was like, "Well, let's make a documentary why the house isn't rented." You know. Uh <laughs> <laughs> in the second one, in the right. second one, because I know you guys haven't seen it. In the second one, he actually has where he filmed a zombie movie in that house. So one of his zombie <laughs> movies was filmed in that house, mm -hmm. and you know, it's like, oh, okay, come on. But I think where he got the idea was back when that original YouTube video hit YouTube, that was kind of like when, you know, the Ghost Adventures and Ghost Hunters, they were competing against each other. You had Paranormal State. All them channels were really big, and they put that video out there, and it just went viral. And that kind of gave him the idea, hey, let's keep blowing with this. And, you know, it, there's no documentation on who helped them write it. You know, but somebody had to help write that because it's very well written and thought up, you know, but um, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he had every all the actors and anybody in it had to sign contracts. Whoever the actor that owned the house, <laughs> you know, he signed a contract that he couldn't say anything. Right. Yeah. You know? I found so. some things that he was actually a, a professor at a local university. Uh, there yeah. is a university at, in Lexington, Kentucky. Kentucky. UK <laughs> right in Lexington where where he and the house are uh, but I couldn't find anything that said what his name was but I did find other people who said that they had they knew he was a professor at, at the local university so I think that's interesting too what was that guy you know, Gary was it Gary yeah you know Matt mentioned woman in black earlier um I did the play woman in black when I was in college and so I spent you know eight weeks living in this haunted world where you know there there were there was this woman in black who was always haunting the the theater and, and haunting these two guys that were in this play because it's only a three-person play and so when it ended i i really wanted to be haunted <laughs> you know i wanted to have that presence there so i can see why people believe and why people want to believe in things like this. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, as Ksenia says that she says that it's, you know, she wanted to believe in it. I kind of did too. I wanted, I mean, I don't want seven kids to be dead, timey wimey, I'm sorry. Uh, but you know, I, but I, you know, I wanted, I wanted, I don't know. I wanted the story to be true because it was a good story they set it up well yeah yeah because sunra andrew really wants some uh, andrew coffee. wants a cup of coffee tell him i want one too cold or i'd give you mine <laughs> yeah i already grabbed matt's mine's empty so. <laughs> <laughs> sorry andrew here here send it to you <laughs> She's sending it to the printer, Andrew. Make sure it's on. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to believe it was true, too, because, like, who's not going to be excited that if you find some real honest evidence? And But I was turned off from the get-go when he said he was a zombie movie maker because I just knew he was going to put something in it. But at the same time, I really liked the way he put it together. I thought it was, you know believable that hey okay i'm gonna grab my camera i'm gonna go do this and it wasn't like horrible shots it wasn't as, as blair witchy as yeah. you know it could be especially for somebody who's supposedly just you know well here, a here's video. another thing too and bill i'm i'm sure you know this but uh you know ghost adventures actually started out with, as a documentary they made a documentary that's how they got their start <laughs> and um so you know, maybe he just had that thought too that this might spark something off uh, from that. But yeah, I don't know. You guys, do you have anything else you'd like to offer? We've been going for an hour. Do you have anything else? I, I think it was a, a I good nothing. entertainment. <laughs> I think it was a good entertainment. Uh, I did got scared a little bit. Um, at the at the very end i think the sound effects were pretty good for that too um mm. it did seem a little bit of uh, like more extended version of investigation on like a youtube video in extension kind of thing um i don't know but i did enjoy it though 
So why not? I mean, I think I the, the most problem I have is with categorizing it as a docu documentary, but other than that, yes. it was pretty fun. Agreed. Yeah. Well, I think we... at the end was a little strange. They had that that white figure in the corner, but yeah. there was no. Was that supposed to be? That was supposed to be Blackwell. Her. Or, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Supposed to be Mrs. Blackwell. it didn't really look like the picture. You know, they should have had somebody that looked like the picture. Of yeah. yeah, well, it, it looked like a <laughs> or, classic or have... idea of a ghost woman, you know, all in drapes and white. and. Or it would have been scarier if they would have had a little kid standing over there since they were seven yes. kids. Yes. That would have yes. been yes. nice. That would have been neat. Or seven that little kids. Ooh. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> we're writing hey, a new and I really would have been it. Out next week, we can yeah. handle this. Yeah. Hey, the gullible one would have really took that one would for be, real. It, so be even careful if one, now. If one of them have little kids in a ball. throwing the ball yeah, around. That would go. have been even better. Yeah. <laughs> you guys now. Oh, rewrites, rewrites. <laughs> what do they? It'll be call fan that? fiction. I, I was just said to say, what do they call that when the fans do it? Fan fiction. Yeah. There you fan go. Fan fiction to the uh, fictional documentary. <laughs> Oh, yes, I'm working on this new book called Screaming Ghosts. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. But you got to turn it into a movie, Polly. <laughs> You're a YouTuber. We'll just make it, we'll make it work. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I know some really good editors. <laughs> oh. Your next book, Polly, is going to be about ghosts. There you go. <laughs> got to switch. I think, switch I think we're scaring the audience. Oh. <laughs> we're scaring Tommy. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. <laughs> I, I I like that though. I do like that as well, a. But we need to make it. Ending. We need to make it some kind of theme where the ghosts haunt the pool. Oh, that would really. <laughs> that would really. It's mess the up. next clue tube. Oh. <laughs> okay, bo boys and girls, clue tube. Yeah. Oh, there up. you go. There you go. Our next mystery. <laughs> exactly. There you go, Panic. Haunting of Tiny's pool party. Dun, 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 dun. Pool party. <laughs> the ghost has to be under the water. <laughs> <laughs> She'll never go in her pool again. <laughs> Sounds Tiny's like a great idea, though. <laughs> Tiny's haunted pizza box. <laughs> I keep telling her that oh the pool cleaner God. looks like a pizza box on her pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, do we God. have any questions in oh. chat for any of our guests? Oh, so she clicked off the chat. Okay, I guess Well, it's going to be here. like seconds before they respond anyway. Okay. <laughs> uh, there was a question before for you guys that I, I caught, and I'm sorry if I didn't caught who it was Ooh. from, is uh, what was your best investigation? Our best investigation, mm -hmm. the one that pops into my head immediately, I mean, they were all awesome, but the one that popped in my head immediately as far as the best activity nonstop was the East Cemetery Hill in Gettysburg this past summer. Yes. That we, was nonstop. Yeah. In fact, that was we cool. We had to stop because I was getting a massive headache. We had um. to call it. That is the most activity. Yes, that's the that most was from, activity. That question was from Paranormal Tech, by the way. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Now, we've been on some very great adventures and investigations. I mean, we did one with PSPR up at Madison Seminary and uh, the uh, Hotel Kania. Those were great investigations. As far as activity, though, they were, yeah, you know, it's a little slow. But... Yeah. There's a building in East <clears throat> Liverpool that we investigated several times, and one of the things... Uh, that was a uh, claim we actually heard the running children uh, the children children running. or people or something running across the the ceiling or that would have been the floor above uh, and we did actually hear that when we were there and we're mm -hmm. like and I I the skeptic I'm like I'm going upstairs to see who's in here. You know? yeah. She ended up losing her flashlight over that one I because did. she dropped the flashlight and took off running. And we could never find it again. Yeah, I never saw that flashlight <laughs> again. It was just wow. gone. They took it. They took the flashlight. Yeah, but so <laughs> there wasn't anybody upstairs and, and everything was all locked up and there was nobody there. But we all heard it. And that was one of the things that like everybody heard and we heard it. Yeah, like, there was a group plainly. of probably about, I'm going to say eight. I was going to say six to eight of us. And yeah. we all just stopped, and you could hear him go, you know, I'm like, what? Holy What's smokes. going on? Yeah, and it and wasn't like, oh, it was again. a mouse or yeah. a rat. I mean, it was like 
big people sounds, you know, like not yeah. little Stacey tiny Morgan animals. has a question, guys. Okay. So, um, Panic D, have you guys caught anything during the daylight hours or is it just always mostly at night? No, we've got stuff during the day. Actually, yeah. if you go watch our, um, when we first started the channel back in November, we caught some stuff at uh, uh, Lincoln's. Two. No, at his house. Oh, that's right. On that's tour right. at the house, we caught a, a giggle. Yes. Um, in the, in the, the living tour. room type yep. thing. Uh, mm. They were talking about the children's toys that were there, I including the old, uh, oh, what's that called? The, the 3D thing. Yeah. You guys the, know what we're talking photos, about? The stereo. The stereoscopes. Stereoscope, yeah. Uh, and uh, that they were actually Lincolns, and in the background you heard giggling and things. And the only reason why you see investigators at night, a true investigator, you know, is because that cuts down on contamination because most people aren't out at night there's not cars on the street well most of the cases um so that's why you really do are, it they're night. fewer it's, it's not like they they come out more at night it's just you can cut down contamination more at night yeah. but you can catch them anytime so. yeah we catch stuff 24 hours a day yeah yeah it's yeah, and I and I personally think that there's more during the day. We just don't notice it as much. If you know, like I'm I'm the skeptic. I wanna I wanna believe in all this stuff, and you know there are things that I'm like I go, wow, what was that? And I can't figure out a reason for it. And then I'm like, well, I don't know, but I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but I think there is more during the day. We just don't pay attention to it or because we think there's other things that are going yeah. on, and so you don't notice it. Um, and also, um, normal people sleep at night. I know not YouTubers, but normal people, <laughs> I, normal not people YouTubers. sleep at night. So I would say that like, if they're supposed to be doing the same types of things that they did when they were live, they're probably going to be sleeping at night, which is probably why there's not as much activity as we'd like yeah. when we investigate. Personal thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Desmond in the chat said he's going to sell me some magic beans. Ooh. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then when he and then when he climbs up that magical bean pole that comes out of it, he's going to bring that <laughs> singing harp down, and he's going to have a new music channel to rival Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thought of that all on my own. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, so Tymie says she has some haunted tales. She says, you've heard my haunted tales, right? Nope. I don't think I know them. Nope. Haven't heard them. I never heard them. You are going to have to start typing fast, Tymie. <laughs> Got to tell us your, your paranormal tales. I'm going to put them all in the Twitter chat, and then we're, we're going to get to read them all. <laughs> oh, there you go. I got coffee, by the way. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Raven, DJ Andrew, where's <laughs> mine? Andrew, where's my coffee? <laughs> That's my ghost here, so. <laughs> Yours brings coffee. We need a friendly He's coffee invisible. ghost. That is awesome sauce. You got some coffee. <laughs> she can't hear you. She can't Andrew's hear gonna. You. Oh, he can't? Really? <laughs> Awesome sauce! <laughs> Go ahead, we're ready. Oh, oh, <laughs> I didn't know after no who said that one. Uh, <laughs> I was visited by the ghost of man that would pass. So, yeah. <laughs> let's not spam the, the video. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> so, time is bye. <laughs> Uh, because you know uh, she has her issues, but the way she put it, she said, "I can't. I have three. She can't. I I have my hands. I have three. Almost like she has three hands, but three I know hands. she means. I know she means she has three stories, but it was three really stories. kind of funny. Yes. We'll yeah. have to have you on the show. And, yes, and you could share your yes. She your can be a, a guest. So we'll have to do that. All right, guys. I think we are going to wrap it up because my wife here is in the middle of writing midterms. Oh. She says, you only got oh. this much time this weekend. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, Marianne. I know. I know. They're terrible. I hate it. And then I just think I get to grade them all next week. It's great. If you make a multiple choice, it, it works out better. 
Just it saying. does, but you know, I have this thing where I make my kids show me stuff. <laughs> like they can't just. What you make them back. prove it? I do. I do. Yeah. I make them write equations <laughs> out and calculate and pull stuff from. Hey. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hello. I play Roblox. Okay. Let's escape all the. I, I do. You believe in ghosts? Huh? Do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> No. Okay. No. You are so cute. I'm going with Daddy. I I believe in him. Oh, she is so cute. Cute little girl. My goodness. Thank you. That's one yep. thing we strive to do right here on Panic D videos is scare children. <laughs> All right. Talk about mid. I had nothing to do with that. Right. I am innocent. I had nothing to do with that. Do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> she took off pretty quick though <laughs> well, don't say, do you believe in midterms <laughs> you said you believe in ghosts midterms would make her cry <laughs> run away <laughs> I would run away too I feel like running away now I hear midterms oh. <laughs> still haunts me <laughs> no. I, know. I know they're terrible always oh have to God. get those <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, any last thoughts from our guests? Thank and you then... for having us on tonight. This well, was thank fun. Thank you for being on. Yes. We really enjoyed this. Um, thank you for doing the homework, watching the documentary, and our inquisition afterwards. Um, it's been fun. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Don't forget, Polly, the only gullible one here. <laughs> <laughs> You're the kindest soul out there. That's I'm the only gullible mean. person. <laughs> You're probably the best soul here. So that's right. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> All right. So final thoughts. Uh, Real or fake? And should it be listed differently? Bill. Good. Fake. And yes, it should be listed as fake. <laughs> Happy trails. Fiction. Fig, yeah, and it should be listed as, as entertainment or fiction. Polly. Uh, it should be listed as something else. <laughs> <laughs> if it's real or fake, uh, uh, okay, <laughs> fake. I'll jump on that bandwagon. It's fake. It's fake. <laughs> and Cassandra. Yeah, it's a great entertainment. Unfortunately, it's fake. Uh -oh. Great entertainment. <laughs> yeah, I agree. What are you talking about, guys? It's real. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I agree that it, that there is enough of it in there to be identified as not true, that it is definitely uh, fake and not a documentary. And, hey, even IMDb listed yeah. as horror. So. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, if you don't mind, just hang around for a little bit. We're going to wrap up the show, and we'll come back to you in just a second. Okay? Sounds good. Yes? Okay. Now, hopefully, I can flip this back over here. <laughs> All right. Let's do that. Alrighty, folks. Thank you for joining us for another Let's Talk Paranormal. We hope you enjoyed this, well, two-parter. Yes, and yes. thank you to all of our guests, PSPR yes. Paranormal Pursuits, Happy Trails Hiking, Polly Vlogs, and Pusha Studios for coming on and giving us your opinion tonight uh, about the video. And if you do not, you know, know them or check out, you know, Get subscribe to, know to our channels, the links are down in the description of this video. Please check them out and you won't be disappointed. That's right. Won't be disappointed. So next week on Panic D Videos... I don't know if I'm going to tell them. It'll be a surprise. I'll find out Monday. Because mm. I posted something on Twitter and I posted on our community thing. Can you figure out what we're going to cover next week? Mm. I think I'll leave it at that. Really? Yes, I do. Ooh. We'll see if anybody responds to it. I bet you that Inspired John will figure it out. Inspired John should be able to figure out what we're covering next week. Yes. Let's so see. if that gives you guys any hints. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, folks, until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. Let us know if you like this video by hitting that thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to see more videos from us in the future, 
Support our channel by hitting that subscribe button and dinging that bell so you get notified the next time there's a video from Panic D Video. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting.